Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Today I'm gonna to show you how I transformed this shelf into this. Hello friends, I am so excited to be finally unpacking my yarn today. It has been boxed up for three, four months now. I think I boxed it up in January and it is now April 15th. And I am so excited to get it unboxed and finally put away and displayed and, you know, accessible so that I can actually play with my yarn and start new projects. Like I'm, I couldn't wait another second. So that's why it's like 7 p.m. at night. You're probably going to hear some traffic outside because people are like constantly honking as they try to get home from work. But you know what? You gotta make the most of it. It is like a cold, rainy day here in New York City and we've just been kind of like cuddled up all day. I've been working and now I'm like, you know what? I wanna do something fun for me. I wanna unpack my yarn. So let's chat a little bit about where we have come from, just in case you're new here and you haven't seen um, kind of the journey of like my stash and everything over the past couple of years. I have several videos where I have done stash tours, stash organization, um, decluttering my stash all throughout the last couple of years as I've kind of changed how I, f like my philosophy on stash. I still have a lot of stash. I still have a lot of yarn. I think the last I counted, it was like 45 like unopened skeins. And then of course I have lots of projects and stuff on the go. Um, but I definitely had to downsize because we just moved from Texas to New York City in Texas. I actually had one of these, um, this is a Calyx from Ikea. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It might be Calyx, um, but I'll link it down below. They are so great. They're quite affordable for like how much you can store in them. They come in a couple different colors. I had a white one that was similar to this, just twice as big in Texas. And it served as my podcast background. It was so awesome. And I had my yarn on it and I rearranged it all the time. And now that I'm in New York, I thought I'm not even gonna be able to get one and there is just the perfect space for it right here behind me. I'm so excited. It fits in without like touching the rug or touching like the framing of the closet that's behind me. And the only reason we chose not to get one, and I say we because I'm actually sitting here in my bedroom. So it's not just my room anymore. It's not a yarn room. It's just the shelf. Um, the reason that we chose to get just a shorter one is we didn't want to overwhelm the room one, um, because I think a taller one would have just made everything feel smaller. Two, we're going to put a TV on the wall above this. So that was kind of like the perfect space for it to go. And then three, I don't really need that much space anymore. I've downsized a ton. Again, I've got all those videos down below. If you kind of want to watch them chronologically, I'll put them in order for you and see where we have come from. All right. I think that's all the background explanation needed. I'm going to show you the boxes that I have here real quick. And then we're just gonna start unpacking and putting stuff away. I've got a plan in mind. I always say this, I think it's gonna go really fast, but I really think this time it's gonna go pretty quickly because I kind of know exactly what I wanna do, how I wanna plan it out. So long as I can find the things that I need in these boxes. All right, let me show you what we're working with. So as long as my memory serves me right, this should be all of the yarn and yarn adjacent stuff that I own. I do remember packing these two tubs and I feel like the rest of it I had with me at my mother-in-law's because we were there for about three months. And so I had the things that I needed and like kind of put away the things that I didn't need to get to as much. So that's not too bad. I think we're gonna have no problem fitting everything over there on the shelf. I am just excited to like start unpacking it and get it going. All right, so a good mission starts with a plan, right? Okay, so here's my plan. I have somewhere four baskets that I'm gonna put on the bottom. In the bottom, I already had some things like uh, that I had in my old Ikea shelf. I think one was all project bags. One was like kind of a miscellaneous mix of stuff. Um, the other one I had like some yarns that I, I think I had like minis and stuff maybe. I don't know. I can't remember, but I'm going to use all those baskets to do all the things that are kind of like mismatched and you know, they just, they just get hidden so, so well. And then I believe I'm going to need two shelves, whichever two that I decide for all of my yarn. Most of my yarn stash is fingering weight. I got rid of a ton of it and I believe I only have about 45 skeins. So that should fit totally fine. And two, it probably 
Well, okay, I don't know if it would fit in one, we'll see. And then in the others, I have some like different um, uh, equipment that I use all the time. I have bowls of stitch markers, and I think I'm gonna use the top here too to put like my uh, ball winder on and just kind of, you know, cute, pretty things, my scale, because I use that all the time and just have a lot around there. So let's just start unpacking things and putting things away. I really need to know first, like what is in here because I really hope the baskets are in here, but I have a feeling I'm gonna need to go out into our living room into the like just box, like I don't even know what to call it. So many boxes in there and search for them because I don't really think they're in here, but I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope. It's a miracle, they are in here. So I'm gonna get those first so that I can like put them together and put them on the bottom. So then all these random things that I'm about to pull out will be able to go into those boxes. goodness my calendars you guys I don't think there's a space for these in here but I want them so badly I've got to figure out what I can do if I can actually like display these somewhere or not or even just one of them but I love my calendars so much Awesome. So now that these are done, I have a big pile of stuff over here. All of this went in those baskets. So I'm just going to get that cleaned up real fast and then we'll move on to like the fun stuff, all the yarn and everything that's in these tubs. that I used four of these just now, but I haven't put my project bags in them yet. And I also have tools that need a place to go. So I'm probably gonna have to do some rearranging once I open up the tubs, but I've got all of these things that are wrapped um, in bubble wrap. And I think they're my bowls to put my stitch markers and everything. I've really been missing I don't know if you can hear that, but there's so much honking going on. I've really been missing like getting to you know switch out my stitch markers and progress keepers just to keep my projects like fresh and nice because i basically just kept the ones that i had currently in my whips for four months and the same project bags i just keep reusing and it's totally not necessary like this really doesn't affect your knitting in it, it kind of does. I mean, it makes me feel better, but I just love being able to like change things out when things are feeling stale and just have that fun element to knitting and crochet. So I'm looking forward to being reunited with all of my accessories and everything. So I think I'm going to open these things up so I have a place to put all of the small things when I get them open and then um, see what's going on in the tubs. This is one of my favorite candles that a friend has given me. Oh my gosh. It is called Warm Wool. I think I've only burned it like a couple of times. 
but I could just walk by the shelf and smell it every day. So this is definitely gonna have to go up there because it smells so good. If I'm remembering correctly, my brother actually gave this to me and it's so cute and it just looks adorable on my shelf and it's also a yarn bowl which I use on occasion but I just like looking at it almost even more. Okay, here we go. It's the tubs. This is like the main event, all the yarn, all the project bags, all of that is in these two tubs. Uh, it's gotta fit somehow. Here's the question though. Do I sit down here on the floor and record the podcast? Like I'm actually considering that because then this would be in my background, which is kind of making me think like which of the four squares do I want to put my yarn in? It's all movable. I'm probably going to get it all out and then rearrange it anyway. So I'm going to just get started, but I'd like to start with the yarn, I think. And that is not this one. So let's see, here we go. Let's start with some yarn. Ta-da! Since I have so little yarn left, I decided to just go for arranging by color. More of an aesthetic thing than like a sort by weight or anything because that just wouldn't make very much sense. So you can see we've got like grays to neutrals to yellows and then all the color over here. Let's see how that would look as a podcast background. Uh-oh, I don't know if that's gonna work. I think I'm too tall. I'd have to be like, scrunch down like this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find another way to make a background for the podcast that's like really great, got my lights and everything. This is just gonna have to be for my yarn display and that's all right. Um, so we are losing a lot of light. I'll probably do like a kind of an overview of everything that I've done today tomorrow when we have a little more light, but I have one more box to unpack. And then I have like all those random bags that have whips and all kinds of things that it's like, what do you even do with it? What do you do? I don't know. In, uh, in an ideal world, I would have one of these open and I could like keep my whips in there. So maybe that'll be my goal. I can't do that yet. I have too much stuff, but maybe that will be my goal and I can work my way towards it. Oh boy. <laughs> I like honestly thought I had gotten rid of so much and that it was gonna be no issue getting everything on this shelf. And it will happen, it will happen. I think I might have to get rid of some more things. I have all these cute, adorable things to display. Maybe I can take some of them. I actually have this really cute shelf. Well, you can't really see it right now. It's hidden behind all of those pictures that are still bubble wrapped, but I have another shelf. Um, kind of like in the windowsill. So maybe I will put some of these cute things there and that will be my podcasting background. It's a lot higher. Um, well, it's a little bit higher. I think that would actually work pretty well. So I've got to figure out 
<laughs> what to do with all of this stuff here. I have so much scrappy yarn. Remember how I had those like, like a trunk and a big old glass thing to display this? Yeah, I don't have that anymore. So my scrappy stuff is taking up a lot of space. I might end up putting it in my bedroom closet. We just got um, some of these alpha shelves uh drawer things and so i kind of plan to have like this one for clothes the wider one and the smaller one for like my equipment that i need for filming uh, camera stuff computer stuff and so i might need to put scrappy items in one of those which is okay that's fine it doesn't need to be on display anyway i don't have anything to display it with so that will be fine which leaves probably one cube for books and blocking mats. And then I don't remember what I was gonna put in the other one, but we'll figure it out. So let's do it. Now things are finally done. I did a little bit like off camera here, finishing up some of the like decorations and stuff behind me. And then I've had a few weeks to just like get used to it, see how it functions and it's looking really good. So I'm gonna take you around on a little tour of my like mini yarn room. I've got, I mean, we're in my bedroom, but I've got my shelf. I have some things in the closet. And then I even decorated a little bit on our windowsill because this room, it is our bedroom, but it's mostly, uh, most of the time it's functioning as my office. So I got to do a lot of decorating in here while Kent got to do a lot more in the living room. So let me take you around. Let's start here on top of this little Ikea shelf. I had too much de decor really. Like I need to take some of this away probably, but I'm gonna just use it for now and decide what I really need. So you can see hiding behind here is my giant blocking board. I really just need to like, Tuck that back in a little bit, that looks better. Um, I've got all of my bowls that I love. Um, they're from Hobby Lobby when I used to shop at Hobby Lobby. Um, so I've kept those around, but I keep my labels for podcasting. I've got some cute decor and my ball winder sits out because there's not really a good place to put it and it's really pretty. So I like to have it on display. And then on the other side here, we have our uh, little no name thing we're not going to say because she'll talk to us and then i have bowls of progress keepers stitch markers and more stitch markers and then just my cute little measuring tape and my scissors i just like having those handy it makes things so much easier so down on this top shelf here we've got books I have pared down my book selection a lot. Um, I have more markers, and then that's actually my only yarn bowl that I use sometimes, and I just keep my pom-poms stored inside of it. I've got all my yarn. I decided to go by color, and I think it looks really, really pretty. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's been, like I said, a few weeks, so you're probably, probably noticing some different yarns in here that you might not have seen before. And then right here, I've got all my blocking stuff, plus uh, the sheep that Kent got me when he was in Mexico for his bachelor party. Then this bottom row is these baskets, which I love because everything in here is messy and random and doesn't look good at all. Um, it was like displayed out. So this first one has scrappy stuff in it. I have big plans to kind of change how I have things organized here. So this is like not the most organized honestly right now, but at least it doesn't look too messy. So scrappy stuff, this is all bags and they are just stuffed in there. I see, I can barely close it. I need to get rid of some. This one is like non-knitting things mostly. There's like needlepoint sewing, and then I keep some 
acrylic yarn to do my private lessons, which helps a lot. This is really the one I'm getting to the most, um, but it's pretty random too. Like I've got my needles in here. I have other accessories that I use, but again, they're all just like random things. So it's nice to have them pushed away in these baskets. Now I also have this basket here. I think it's going to be more of a temporary solution. Once I get more stuff, like I get rid of more things, I'm going more minimal. I will be able to use one of these baskets for what this functions for, which is like stuff in transition. So prizes, designs, and whips. So I've got two whips here on top. And then underneath I've just got like a jumble of different things, things I'm sending out. And this was one of the baskets I used in my pantry. It actually looks really nice in here, um, but it's too big to go anywhere else in our house. It still has the tag that says overflow on it, which is what we used it for in the pantry, it was like overflow food. So that's all still there, which is pretty funny. So that's everything here on this big shelf. And we also have a TV now. So some things coming to improve this area in the future as I'll probably do a bit more decluttering. We'll get something to cover up that cord and hopefully soon I can get rid of having this uh, basket out there because I just think, you know, the less that's on the floor, the nicer it looks, the more peaceful that it is. Here is my little window area, which is sort of in the background, side ground of my podcast. I was able to put different things that I've received, uh, my cute little sheep, and I've got a beautiful candle and a little plant and another sheep. And then I also keep my lights here. So let me see if I can get them turned on. They're battery powered. You can't really see them that much in the daytime or in my podcast, but at night they look really, really pretty. And then of course I have to take an opportunity to show you our view. This is what we look at every single day. I sit here at my desk and I look out at gorgeous New York City. So here's where I got a little desperate and I'm pretty sure this Mesh is gonna do some crazy things with the camera here, so just bear with me. But these are the Ikea Alpha, not Ikea, I'm sorry, Container Store Alpha. Uh, we've got a lot of like clothes and stuff in them too, but they're great drawers. Pricey, but honestly, they have been so functional that, and they're so customizable, they're really, really great. So this is the uh, cabinet size, they're smaller because our closets are tiny, but I have put, such a mess, I've just got like, random scrappy stuff here more random scrappy stuff here i need to get all this organized in my sock blockers and then here's the rest of my notions this keeps them pretty organized and that's it i just used three drawers here now if you're interested on the other side i have my like equipment here kent was nice enough to loan me a couple drawers so um like I said, it's a little messy, but here's a lot of the equipment that I use, uh, camera stuff all stored away. And then this right here is where I keep all like my lights and cameras uh, or lights and tripods. It's a Christmas um, wrapping paper thing that I got for wrapping paper and then realized like, I don't like to hang on to wrapping paper because it's a waste of my space until Christmas. I just get one and use it all up. So Kent had the great idea to use it for like tripods and stuff. So I have my giant, uh, what's it called, ring light. And then this like flips open and I'm able to get to everything that I need. Thanks so much for coming along with me on this journey to make my new tiny New York City yarn room a reality. I hope you enjoyed coming along in the process. And uh, if you are like, I'm feeling inspired, I'm gonna go like, clean things up in my yarn room or my shelf or my closet, will you tag me on Instagram? I'm at Nitty Natty. I would love to see your spaces, whether it's a small space, a big space, whatever kind of equipment you have, yarn, crochet, needlepoint. I want to see how you store it. So tag me because I would love to see what you, are, what you guys are working on. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.